A dozen Clemson University students are going hog wild this semester. They're doing undergraduate research to help manage the extensive and expensive problem of wild hogs in South Carolina. It is a $110 million problem for South Carolina farmers. That's according to a recent study. Wildlife biologist Dr. Greg Yarrow is the faculty advisor for the Creative Inquiry Project. He says wild hogs are negatively impacting the state's forestry industry as well. They are very um, opportunistic feeders and on reforestation areas where landowners are trying to reforest a part of their land and plant um, seedlings, particularly pine seedlings, such as longleaf pine, they will root up and, and, and dig the um, seedlings up. The student research involves humanely trapping wild hogs in the Clemson forest, which surrounds campus, putting GPS collars on up to 20 of them and then studying their habitats. It's real world application from their classroom learning. You can kind of visualize all this spatial data on a map and um, it's going to be really cool to have that map and access to kind of see visually where all these pigs are going to hang out and what resources they're using. I took a class with Dr. Yara last semester, actually, where wild hogs were a huge focus on that. So I was able to go from learning about this issue last semester directly into applying a lot of what we learned about, uh, you know, firsthand uh, right in the field. And the students have nicknamed some of the hogs like Dabo Squealy and Trevor Borance and Miss Piggy, for example. The hog wild on the Clemson Forest Creative Inquiry is in its first semester, but it will continue for at least a year. Their research into how these hogs are making their living will hopefully have an impact on reducing the problem statewide.